things from uh, a number of outlets, you know, the kind of mainstream CNN, MSNBC, um, uh, NPR, of course, but also, I mean, think about the age in which we lived in, live in. So, you know, a number of blogs. Uh, there is one called the Crunk Feminist Collective that I love. And, uh, but a number, any blogs that are pretty much talking about progressive spirituality and theology, um, anything that is uh, inclusive, uh, talking about how you know all people matter, and that, so those are typically again kind of religious, uh, but progressively religious and um, uh, blogs or theological blogs. Um, but also, um, I think another place where I get my news is from what I would simply call the folk, and I'm just talking. That's folk. You know, th those are the people on the ground. You know, so nobody's in front of a camera. Um, nobody's really asking their opinions, but they have them, right? And so, you know, uh, I've been living here 11 years now, um, from Chicago, and so I definitely know that in the black church tradition um, that I grew up in, you know, there is what we would simply call the church grapevine, you know, and it is as real <laughs> as, you know, any other outlet because that information is flowing, and even though there's no official, um, you know, uh, camera anywhere, but you know, by morning, you know, when when the first message goes out of who's done such and such or who's ill or so and so, by the end of the day, everybody in the church knew about it, you know, and you know, you have your certain reliable sources, you know, reliable, uh, yeah. but you know, you have those the people who just always have the information, and yes, were some of them gossips, absolutely. You know, uh, and then some people are simply the ones who are, um, the, I would say that they carry the, the information or they carry uh, the journey of the community, you know, and, and I kind of call them those folk the elders, you know, sometimes they are literally older people, but sometimes they're, they're, they're elder in stature, you know what I mean, that this, you know, these are the people, they, they may not have title one, but these are the people that everyone comes to to lay their burdens before them. Um, and so, yeah, that's very much a news outlet for me. Um, uh, and why? Because, well, first of all, I typically uh, get my news from places that are talking about things that are relevant to my life, things that uh, resonate with me, not things that just look just like me. But some of those things are there as well. Uh, again, so when I'm talking about progressive theology, and so you can best believe, you know, those things that, you know, ideologically, that's where I am. That's where I am spiritually. I am. Um, I. I kind of live in this place where I'm always seeking um, ways, and I'm always kind of fighting the fight. Where, you know, just kind of naming that. You know what? Guess what? It's, it turns out everybody matters. And so, where are those messages? Th those are the messages uh, it, that I'm reading, and and those come in many different ways. You know, kind of feminist and womanist scholars that I follow. Um, but they can come in other ways too. They might come in hip hop. <laughs> They're definitely in gospel music. They're, you know, so you know, I, I know that music may not seem like news to people, but you know, I, there was a. I remember in, in the African American community that I grew up in, you know, and I think actually a, a scholar said this, and I can't remember the person's name. This person said, um, "If you want to know what's going on in the black community, listen to their music." And that person was so right because that's where you. You know, you hear, and I and I would suggest that it's yeah, it's that community, but I think it's anywhere. You know, um, you want to know what's happening with folk? Listen to the music. So to me, um, music uh, is its own outlet of information, and it brings us the news, the news of what what are people thinking about, uh, what are they feeling, what do they love, what are they angry about? Uh, is somebody about to rise up in revolution? You know, you can usually they're letting you know something's about to happen. You see, so.